course of the past few months, we've added some insane eels to this pond. We've caught some in some beach tide pool rocks. We've also done some fish traps and caught a green mora eel in a tunnel and a chain link eel in a man-made tide pool. Currently in the pond, we have our chain link eel who's absolutely thriving in here, eating like crazy. He uh, almost takes some fingers off every single time I feed. And we got our green mora eel who's also a savage swimming around this pond. So today we are officially adding one of our favorite eels we've ever had into the pond to make our eel count go up. Hopefully we can get some more rare eels in the future. But right now we're adding a really, really cool one today. Let's get into it and let's get a new eel for the saltwater pond. You guys know every time we add a new thing in this pond, we have to stuff these guys literally until their stomachs are about to explode. So we got some beautiful tilapia here. The other day I came out here, you know, it was the end of the day to feed these fish and I wanted to feed them full fillets of tilapia and one of the moray eels stole a full entire fillet and inhaled it, mm -hmm. the whole thing. So these eels are savages. If they get my hand, I think they might get my whole arm. So let's give Pans our platinum grouper, our bright yellow platinum grouper, a nice piece of tilapia. He absolutely loves it. He's got orange on the top of his fins now too. Oh my God, Chris. I'm sorry. That Dropped it. Hot scares the hell out of me, man. Whoa. That was a good eat right there. Put that in slow-mo, dude. The way he opens up his jaw, sucks it in. He wants the GoPro more than the freaking tilapia. <laughs> oh, that was gentle. So it's really hard, to be honest, getting through these eels. As you can see, they're attacking the GoPro. And if you put your dude, hand in the water. Dude, he's gonna attack the GoPro. Yeah, everyone wants to eat the GoPro for some reason. Come here, Pots. Whoa! There's Pots. He's a little bit more aggressive than Pans. Pans is kind of a big, fat, lazy platinum grouper. But Pots, he goes, he will swim from across the pond at full speed just to get a piece of tilapia. Oh Whoa! God oh, almighty! You got salt water in my mouth. Whoa! Oh my God. I'm gonna get your hand off. I almost got my hand bitten right off. I'm gonna hand feed the eel, guys. Oh, I just hand fed the eel. Who wants another one? Chain link? Chain link, I got you. Whoa! Freaking sorry, this guy! Dude, this is why I love having eels in the pond. That's why I'm excited to get another one in here because yeah, here we they all hand feed. Here he comes! <laughs> He's darting, bro! Look at him, he's swimming so <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna keep giving the eels food to try to just stuff them. There we go. Now he's gonna dart off. That's what he does. Hey, boy. He gets the food and he darts off. You know why? Because he learned. If he eats when the groupers are hungry, he will get swallowed. Replay that, dude. Yeah, play it right now. Pan's literally swallowed the eel at one point, and it was very alarming. Literally savage. Now, guys, the other day, I got a pretty big emperor snapper who's definitely gonna be going in this pond soon, but he eats, like, non-stop. Look at this guy. As soon as I put it in the water, he's gonna dart right over. Absolute beast of a fish. That thing is a beast. That's my pride and joy right now, that emperor snapper. He's a savage. Guys, we're trying to get these panther grouper to eat for us, but look at the big boys. How intimidated would you be if you have a 20 pound grouper straight in your face looking at the same piece of food you're looking at? Uh, pretty sure you're probably not gonna eat it. Come on, boy. Okay, green more eel. Oh, that almost just happened again. It was almost a repeat of the chain link eel. The green more eel almost just got taught a lesson. Almost was just swallowed by pans. All right, y'all, the 5,000 gallon saltwater pond is all fed. Those big boys are stuffed with food. Now we're gonna head back to the house to scoop out this more eel. Let's see how this goes. Guys, it is officially time to add another eel one to of my favorites. the pond. And this eel is freaking, well, it's one of Jack's favorites. It's my favorite. Chris is honestly not a huge fan of it, but to me, yellow head, black stripes like a zebra, almost looking like he, a wahoo. He's growing on me, he's growing on me. It's like a neon head. It's a really, really cool eel. He's very aggressive. He eats everything that we put in that tank, including live. This thing is gonna be a beast in that pond. I love adding eels to the pond. Now we have three different species. We got the chain link, we got the green more eel, and now we're gonna have the yellowhead eel. And then, what's Who knows? next? I'm banana, ready. banana, all yellow, like a freaking banana floating through the ocean. Drop a like on this video if we should get a banana more eel. They're literally like a thousand bucks, so it's gonna take a lot of heart, a lot of courage and heart to get it, but drop a like if you guys wanna make it happen. I'm ready to have like 10, 15 meals in that pond. Maybe 30. Maybe 30. Okay, this is gonna be tough because look, look how this guy wedged himself. He is full blown under there like he would be in the wild. Like he's just wedged underneath his shelf. I don't know how we're gonna get him. I'm worried he's gonna strike my hand when I freaking put my net in here. There he is. Oh, he's pissed. He's so mad, this is what he's I thought he was gonna do. He's literally coiled up like a freaking Burmese python. Jack! Hey! Get over here. You gotta be better, man. Dude, these guys are fast. Go for the head. I'm trying. Headshot. Pound for pound. Go! Dead, let's go! Get in there! Dude, he knows that. There we go, we got him, we got him. 
This is the starter eel to the banana eel. Look, he's got a little bit of yellow on the top of his head. Imagine that yellow all the way through the whole body. That would be absolutely ridiculous. I, I love this eel. Look at that guy. Extremely cool. Super cool. I, like I think he's growing on me, guys. He's so sick. I think bro. it's because he was in the tank and now that he's going into the pond. I think it's gonna be like because all my eels are like my buddies, like they come right up Dude, to me. I hand savage. feed them. Look at how yellow that head is, you guys. And I, I said it before imagine that yellow throughout the whole entire eel with a little bit of black spots. I think it's gonna look insane. It's gonna stand out like a sore thumb inside of the saltwater pond. Ah, Jack! What? He's jumping! Oh! Ah! He's out! He's out! He's out! I'll let it! I'll let it! Come here, dude. He's gonna be all hairy now. Ew. Okay, what he's in. Wrong? Captured. Guys, honestly, fun story. Let me set the scene, right? 3.30 in the morning, pitch black, cold room, fan ripping. I'm asleep. I hear activity in my room. Immediately up. I look over to my tank. The eel's missing. I get up out of bed, put the light on. My eel is on the freaking floor at 3.30 in the morning. I had to scoop him up, half asleep. I actually had to run downstairs to get a net first. Scoop him up, put him back in the tank. He's never done it again. Well, Let's get this guy in the pond! Back at the pond, guys. Take a look at this guy. We're gonna dump him inside of this white bin so you guys get a really good look at how neon yellow that head is. I'm gonna hold him. He's literally so slimy, but look at that fish, guys. Look at that. freaking crazy. That's insane, dude. I love this eel so much. He's gonna look really good in the pond with all the other eels in there. He's gonna eat like a champ, but first he's gotta learn. He's gotta come up to us to eat. Because usually right, right when the eels go in the pond, they stay in the rocks, but then they learn, I'm not gonna eat unless I go over there. So I'm excited to put him in, and then I'm excited to give him an awesome feed. Now it's time to add the eel to the big pond, but before we do that, I wanna mention fishguide.shop, you guys. We have just restocked the Respect the Reef, as you guys all know, and they're flying off the shelf. So head over there before they are gone. Every item removes trash from the ocean, you guys. Now. Let's put this eel inside the pond. Come here, buddy. You're going into a ginormous ocean at this point, honestly. Look at this guy. We're gonna release him as close as we can to the rocks. Hopefully he doesn't get attacked here. Come on, buddy. Oh, the other eels. He's squirming around. Oh, and he went to the wall. Okay. Atta boy, look, look at that thing. He looks so crazy cool in here, dude, with all the other eels. He's, he's like the perfect same size. Let's go. Yeah. He's actually perfect size. He's the same size. I actually think he's the best looking eel in here. I'm, he he's, he's totally changed my mind. I actually really like this eel a lot. Guys, he's perfect size. Fits right in with the other eels. Nobody's aggressive towards them. The, gro the groupers didn't even care whatsoever. That's why it's super important to feed them put before you put stuff in. But this thing went from 125 gallon tank to a 5,000 gallon saltwater pond. I mean, look at this thing. He's got tons of rocks to go in and out of. And he's sitting down inside just the smallest group of rocks that we have. Wait till he finds the big structure. He's gonna be so happy in here and grow to be so big. Guys, another amazing sea creature added to our ginormous ocean at this point. The collection is growing. We're getting more and more rare fish as the days go on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you all in that next one. Peace out.